you see one for the trouble, two for the time. Come on, y'all, let's rock this. You say one for the trouble, two for the time. Come on, speech is my hammer, bang the world in the shape, now let it fall. Hey, Solar Caps here, and we got Pokemon Battle number 8. Uh, this is for, again, for Elo's theme team tourney. I think this is round 4. Yeah, we'll just go with 4. So, this is against Moss Waves. Link will be in the description. It was a pretty crazy game, so let's get it started. So, he has a Sonic theme. As you can tell, because he has Sonic. He's got an attitude. So, I'm going to lead off with Lead Rose off. And he's actually going to make an interesting switch, decide to send in his Scizor for Sleep Fodder. I'm just going to Sleep Powder that. He actually doesn't go for the Bullet Punch. Uh, I'm not actually sure what his set is, but he's going to take the Sleep, and he's going to switch out into his Knuckles. I'm just going to set up the Toxic Spikes, because really, I'm not too afraid of this thing. And he actually goes for the Substitute. I'm like, well, that's interesting. Most of them are choice. I had the Focus Sash, so I was expecting either U-Turn or Flare Blitz. That was a little odd. So I'm just going to go in Soraka, and he actually goes for the Nasty Plot. And I'm like, oh, dicks in my mouth. It's a Zorark. So I'm going to switch back into Maokai pretty much because I saw that I outsped it. So I know with the Focus Ash, I'm going to be able to take one of any hit, and I actually live it. And it, I think it was actually a speed tie. Maybe I'm just dumb and it outsped me. Outsped me? Well, anyway, uh, pretty much it was just Death Fodder, so... I know that he's probably not going to have the Psychic, and actually no, has the Flamethrower instead, so I'm just going to go for the close combat, break the Substitute, and already the Zorark just threw me off so much of that nasty plot, he's going to be hitting me way too hard, so... He actually switches predicting the Mach Punch, but I was hoping that he would... Well, pretty much I, I predicted the switch, and I actually get a crit on this Latios... Latios... My bad, but that really doesn't make too much of a difference. So I know a Draco Psychic, some huge heavy hit's gonna come my way. He's gonna go for the Dracon Meteor, and um, I, after seeing that damage, I know it's pretty much specs because that's how most Latios are. So he's gonna go for the Draco Meteor again, hoping to take me out, but um. Crest is just too much of a dickwad, so I'm actually going to live that, get the moonlight up, so that's going to get me back up to a relatively good amount, so I know he's going to have to switch, I'm just going to go for the moonlight again, I'm pretty sure I don't want to do anything silly, and he's actually going to switch out into his sleeping scissor, no, I go for the T-Wave, predicting his switch into Jirachi, yeah, that's it, yeah, so, uh, I'm going to switch out, I'm going to uh, Magnet Pole, trap this scissor in, uh, that was his first guaranteed turn, so this would be his very first time to uh, wake up. He doesn't, and I know I can take a bullet punch just because my EV spread. I'm going to hit him with an HP fire, and that's going to take him out. So it's nice to get that threat out of the way. Scizor is just a pain in the butt, as everyone knows. So uh, thankfully, I'm able to get a free sub up from that, and I'm going to be able to hit whatever I want with a heavy thunderbolt. He actually is going to switch out into his Zorark again, I can tell from the previous damage. And he's going to pop my balloon. I really don't like that balloon. I should probably change it to leftovers. It has not helped me a single bit. But oh well, all's well that ends well. I'm going to go for the T-bolt. It's going to knock him right out. Thanks for all the residual damage and poison. So uh, he's going to send in his Hihita Ruma and I know he's probably just going to go straight for the flyer, but it's no reason to overpredict. I'm just going to switch him on top, get that Intimidate off, and uh, he actually crits me, doesn't matter, he was probably going to take me out, uh, but it did kind of, if he didn't crit me, I would have known that uh, if he was choice painted or choice uh, scarfed, but we'll see eventually in the future. So, I'm going to set out into Shinivia, I know I can get a free uh, DD up, and I can, but then I forget about this Suicune, but... Pretty much my plan is that it's toxic, that's what these toxic spikes are for. I'm just going to Dragon Claw at once, just to get a good chunk of damage, see how much I can do. It doesn't all right him out. Um, he hits him with an Ice Beam, does absolutely nothing thanks to a Marvel scale. And I'm just going to Roost Stall until the toxic kills him, at least that was the plan. Until he reveals that he is Resto Chesto Coon. So I'm like, are you like lead, lead Resto Chesto Coon? That's also very tanky because that you know plus one dragon claw didn't do anything so here was pretty much gonna try to go for some mind game see i was gonna, just gonna keep roosting pretty much hoping for him to over predict at some point uh, even though that really wouldn't have accomplished anything 
really like and my phone just went off in my pocket but i don't think you heard that but this is kind of just more like stall but then i remember he has pressure so it's probably not a good idea if i keep staying in here eventually he's gonna probably freeze me or crit me and i cannot deal with that well i can deal with a freeze because i have a lumberry but nevertheless I, he just it's pretty stally i was just kind of thinking but eventually i'm like screw this i'm gonna go into the number one steam golem uh, take the ice beam uh, fairly well and I'm doing pretty good. So I'm predicting the switch to go for the sub. He actually stays in and hits me with a scald. I'm not going to be able to take that, frankly, and it's going to break my sub. So I'm like, this time I'm going to go for the uh, Thunderbolt. But he actually predicts that very nicely, going to his Latios, and he's going to be able to take that with relative ease. So I'm predicting another Draco. So I'm going to just gonna set in Soraka. He actually hits this Draco, does huge damage, nearly takes me out, down to 36. And, um, that's pretty big. So he's actually going to go for the Draco Meteor. Soraka just jukes out of that one. Uh, it does have 90% accuracy, so the miss, that was its, like, ooh, fifth one. So it's kind of lame, but hacks happens, and I kind of got a little luckily on some of the hacks here. So, but really, it didn't matter too much in the end. So, uh, he's going to switch into his Hihido Ruma. Actually, no, it didn't matter a whole lot. What am I even talking about? He's going to go for the U-turn. Not going to do much of anything, and he's just going to switch right back into his Metal Sonic. I don't see it. You'd think Scizor would have been Metal Sonic. Whatever, it's his theme. Whatever, man. Whatever flips your skirt, tickles your pickle. And he's going to go for the Nether Draco Meteor. Um, even though the correct move would have went for the Moonlight, I was pretty much just pissed. Oh, excuse me, the hell off at this Latios. It was a huge threat to my team. It could outspeed my D-Knight and just disappear Specs Draco Minions. I just had to get rid of it, so... I have the Reflect up, so I know this Heat Heater Room isn't going to uh, be too much of an issue. So I'm just going to take the U-turn, uh, get the Swish Initiative as he switches back into his Suicune, so... Uh, now it's finally uh, poisoned again. I know if he wants to go for the rest, he doesn't have the Chesto Bear anymore. So he's going to have to deal with that really brutal sleep... Uh, because sleep uh, doesn't reset when or resets when you switch out, so I'm just gonna not gonna play any prediction pants on. I'm just gonna go right for the T bolt. It does huge amount of damage. It is I'm actually really surprised at how much damage that does, and he actually gets the burn on the boiling water. Now this actually helps me a lot because the thing is this is the last turn of reflect, so this is gonna allow me to switch into Wu Kong. And with the Sea Ruma, he's going to be able to go for the superpower. But the thing is, it's not going to be able to kill me. And I was a free switch, no matter if it was Choice Banded or Choice Scarfed, I would have been able to live it. So uh, if he didn't crit my uh, hit on top, I probably would have lived, maybe. It's really hard to tell. I didn't do Calyx, and I don't know if he's like um, Jolly or whatnot. But nevertheless, I'm going to be able to go in there, just go right for the overheat. Uh, it's going to do a huge amount of damage. I'm not into blaze range, but I do have the life orb, and that's going to hit him hard for super effective damage. And um, he's actually going to take me out with a body slam. I don't mind that because his drachi is really, really low. Uh, even if he goes for the body slam, I know it's not going to kill me. I have the lumberry just in case if he does para. The only thing he can really do is try to... Well, I actually outspeed him because he's not running max speed. So that's it. GG. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um... There's a lot of shenanigans about this. I'm definitely going to be changing my team soon because it's starting to look a little sketchy and I need to do some things on it. So whatever. Peace out. Raise comments up.